Hello everyone, I'm La Rosa, and I wanted to tell you that we've had uh, some people that have sent us video content in the past, and some of it really good content, and uh, so for that, uh, we have decided to create a YouTube page uh, and also a page on our FatTireCowboys.tv uh, for a, a series that we're going to call Tell Your Story. And uh, if you want to participate in that, you can send, uh, create your video and uh, send us a link to, send the link to Brian, B-R-Y-A-N, at uh, FatTireCowboys.com and we'll take a look at it. Uh, but for now, uh, I'd like to introduce to you the very first in the series from Shad Kingston of the Fort Worth, Dallas area. Sometimes when I close my eyes. I remember when I was a little kid, I would always run in my backyard with my arms spread out like an airplane, running as fast as my little legs could go. I was just hoping, even praying, that this time I would finally take flight. Needless to say, it never happened. And if I could go back in time and tell my six-year-old self just one thing, I would tell him to never give up on your passions, to always follow your heart and dreams. And now, at 39, my six-year-old is telling me, Hey buddy, just go do it. One thing I'll cherish for the rest of my life is the love my dad and I share for aviation. I've spent too much time on the ground looking up at the sky daydreaming about what it would be like. And after years and years of talking, my dad and I finally made the trip to Oshkosh. And that's where I made up my mind to pursue my dream of flight. I've had too many regrets in life not to finally take this chance. With the help of my family and my somewhat nervous but incredibly supportive wife, we're going to finally make this happen. My parents pitched in and bought me what they call a discovery flight. It's basically to see if you like it or not. And from the look on my face, I bet you can guess. It's like someone took a fire hose and just sprayed me full of information. I couldn't soak it all in. Numbers, altimeters, gyros. It was pretty overwhelming. Not to mention the engine you hear purring outside. It's not much more sophisticated than my riding lawnmower. Matter of fact, it's not much bigger. And it's about to take us into flight over 3,000 feet. You're basically on a tricycle going about 70 miles per hour, steering with your feet. Then all of a sudden, the plane goes up, your body goes down, and you get to feel that weightlessness for maybe a second. And it's so awesome. Every nervous bone in my body has finally settled and I take the time to look out the window. Just like the planes I stop and stare up at back at home, circling above me, for a short moment, I finally am that plane. And as we circled back to the airport, I got that sinking feeling in my stomach. Not because we were descending, but because like all good things, eventually they come to an end. And the thoughts started flooding my head. Am I too old for this? Am I just still chasing a dream? Probably both are true, but I don't ever want to give up. And from what I've read, most people do give up. It's either lack of time, lack of money, lack of patience. I know one thing's for sure. If you want something bad enough, you'll get it. And more than anything, I want my kids to look back on this video one day and see that I stepped out of my comfort zone and went after my dreams, no matter how long it's gonna take me. And one day, I'm gonna land my dad on that green dot at Oshkosh, and I'm gonna take my wife to get that $100 burger.